You are about to begin your DynaSplint instructional video, but just a note before we start. Most of the time, DynaSplint systems are a rental product, and you are responsible to return it at the end of your treatment so that you're not charged for the replacement cost of the splint. When your doctor, therapist, and DynaSplint sales consultant agree that your treatment is complete, please view the simple How to Return Your DynaSplint video located at the bottom of this page, the shipping's prepaid, and your label's in the box. Now, let's get started. In order to apply your ankle DynaSplint using the front straps, completely open all straps and slide your foot into the DynaSplint. Push the foot plate until the two round cams are even with your ankle bones. You can hold this in place using the butterfly cuff. Snug the butterfly cuff using the two one inch straps. Pull them until you see the line drawn by your sales consultant. Next, attach the two inch strap by running the end under the strut and attaching it to itself. Snug until you see the black line. Finally, attach the shin cuff by running through the D-ring and attaching to itself. You should be able to slide a finger between the cuff and your shin. To support your leg, place a pillow under your calf. In order to remove your AFD, unfasten the shin cuff, the two inch strap, and two one inch straps on the butterfly cuff. Now simply raise your leg and remove the DynaSplint. Please review the tension your DynaSplint sales consultant set for you initially. In the beginning, the splint should be worn for two to four hours. Do not increase the tension until you can tolerate overnight wear. Time is the most important factor, and your first goal should be six to eight hours of pain-free wear. After achieving this time goal, when you take the splint off, if you have less than one hour of stiffness, turn the tension up by one on both sides. However, if you are unable to wear the splint for a prolonged period of time, decrease the tension by a half to one full turn. During the process of regaining your range of motion, if you have any questions or concerns, contact your DynaSplint representative.